Okay, let me just say that the ESM Speed Booster is not going to turn your camera into a full frame camera. There's a lot more to a full frame camera than field of view. Now this is not going to actually be the review of the ESM Speed Booster. This is going to be kind of explaining how Speed Boosters work, how they actually do what they do. But if you're like me, you kind of need a visual aid to understand how this works. So basically what I understand is happening with a normal DSLR is the image is coming into the lens and then it's being projected onto your sensor. And what goes on when you put on a crop sensor camera is you're basically just eliminating these outside edges of your image. And so those sort of just go off into nothingness in the camera. Now with this change from DSLR to mirrorless cameras, what has happened is that we've eliminated that space that the mirror used to take up. And when you put on a normal adapter, basically it's just something to take up the space and it maintains the same issue that we're having with the crop sensor. But now that we have this space, what companies like Metabones and now Viltrox and lots of companies now have figured out is that they can put glass elements in this adapter and it focuses your image down to a smaller image area. Now, if we went ahead and put that full frame sensor back in this camera, we would have no image on this side. It would just be in the center and that's what causes vignetting when you put on crop sensor lenses onto a full frame camera. But what it does do for us is because it's sort of directing that image onto a smaller sensor, we get effectively a wider field of view. And so a 50 millimeter lens like I'm shooting on right now is more like a true 50 on a full frame camera, whereas on my crop sensor, it would be closer to about an 80. Now I want you to keep in mind that if you're using EF lenses, it's already focusing it onto a smaller image circle that you're going to have the same vignette as if you put a full frame lens with a speed booster on a full frame camera, you're going to get a similar vignette if you put a crop sensor lens with a speed booster on a crop sensor camera. Now keep in mind that this does another thing for us when we're using it in the M50 is that because we have already a cropped 4K, what it does is effectively make that crop smaller. And so if you use an EF lens that already focuses your image down to a smaller sensor, basically what it'll do is it will focus it down roughly to where your 4K will be. So using wide angle EF lenses like the 10 to 18 with the speed booster on the M50, you're gonna get a similar field of view to what you're gonna get normally on the M50 or on something like an ADD, any other crop sensor camera. It's gonna be a little tighter, but it opens up entirely new possibilities for the 4K image. I hope that gives you a good understanding of how a speed booster does what it does, but I wanna make it very clear with no confusion that you have to use EF or EFS DSLR lenses adapted over to an ESM camera. You cannot use EFM lenses with the speed booster. Now, if you wanna know actually how big of a difference this makes for your field of view, this clip was shot with the speed booster and this shot was shot without it. Huge difference in how much of a crop and that's similar to the difference between full frame and crop sensor. Now I know everyone talks about that it adds stops of light and it makes it a wider field of view, pretty much a full frame. And what I'm going to do for my actual review is I'm going to compare it to a full frame camera. I'm not gonna take the manufacturer's word for it. I'm going to put this thing through the ringer before I tell you any amazing things about the adapter. In this video, I just wanted to answer some questions that people had and explain how it does what it does and what you need in order to get it to walk. 
Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And you know what? I just gotta stop here because in the last week, 200 of you have subscribed to this channel. And I, uh, 200 people in a week, the previous like record that we made was 77. But 200 people subscribing and 4,500 views on uh, one of my videos in a week, I, I am deeply thankful to every one of you who has given me your time and who is continuing to give me your time. And I'm just excited for the future of this channel and this community that we're building. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one.